Peace, 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 naturally, royal, beautiful, 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 beautiful people of the world, of this divine, beautiful world. Look, we make you smothered cabbage my way. All right, I know a lot of you all are vegan and you don't do meat and you don't do this and you don't do that. Okay, get it. No, let me stop. <laughs> all right, so this is what we're using. We're using this for our sausage. This is Emily, Amy Lou, Amy Lou, I'm sorry, Amy Lou, <laughs> Amy Lou chicken sausages. And this is the turkey bacon that we use. Um, can y'all see that? God shells. God shells. All right. So this is the meat that we're putting into our smothered cabbage. We got the cabbage. This was the cabbage that we used. Uh oh, just made a mess on the floor. This is the cabbage that we use, organic cabbage. We got our onions already cut. What's wrong, baby? What, what you tacking on, tipping on? Mm -hmm. That was just the brightness. We got our peppers already cut, red and green bell peppers. We got our shallots. Shallot. Shallot. Xavier, what was the benefits of the shallot? This is the shallot. This is how it looks. Before one second, please. One second, come on in here. This is the um shallot, how it looks. Just you peel it, cut it just like an onion, and that is our ingredients. We're actually going to throw some minced garlic in there and then um grab our herbs, our little seasons, which is just going to be a little salt, cayenne pepper. That's really it. Um, yeah, salt, cayenne pepper. And maybe a little, little bit of crushed pepper because we want a little kick to it. And um, that's it. That's it. Everything else is going to be adding to our flavor. All right. Um, yeah, I might throw in at the end, I might throw a little Tony Saturies on there. You know, just to add in a little bit more. Um, all right. I'm listening now. What's the flavor? Xavion. My uh, son son is going to tell you all the benefits of the shallots. It's healthy heart boosts immune system. Uh, okay, he said a healthy heart, it boosts your immune system. Manage blood pressure. Uh, prevents cancer. Manages blood pressure and prevents cancer. Sorry, guys, to speak to hello. And controls diabetes and soothes nerves. Controls diabetes and soothes nerves. I just did that. Huh? Okay, y'all, forgive me. I'm over here making a mess. I'm gonna lie, just put that on there. Limited space. Okay, so it's good for diabetics. It soothes your nerves. Soothes your nerves if you are normally nor nervous person. So I got about, what, six pieces of bacon. That's all I'm going to use. The rest of them, I'm going to wrap it up and put it for another recipe. For something else, for breakfast or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll do some shrimp and grits. Y'all know that's our go-to. That's our go-to fat, fat girl food, <laughs> fat girl meal. I love me some shrimp and grits. When I'm feeling greedy, that's what I'm craving. Sometimes I do crave stuff like um, Italian beef and Philly steaks and stuff like that, but rarely. Like my body has been deprived of vegetables so much for so long, shall I say, that and I'm not really cutting this in a specific order, you know. I'm just trying to get, get it cut down and that's it. That's it. That's 
all. Okay. Get the camera down now. That's fine. I'm going to just put this bacon in a bowl. And yes, I use my hand. Don't be afraid when you're cooking to use your hands. Get them hands a little cruddy. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. All right. So I got the bacon doing. I'm going to put this, the rest of that, to the side so I can get that wrapped up. I had a bag for it. Let me just set that there for right now. Let's see what's up with Amy Lou. Amy Lou. So she has these pre-wrapped sausages. So you see how they are? You, If you only want one, you can just take out one. Look. I'm trying to break it on the dotted line. You can just take out one. That's how they separate. So you don't have to waste. Me. You know, here in America, here in America, <laughs> we waste so much, so much food. And if you all see me washing stuff, rinsing stuff off, yeah, I rinse my sausages, rinse my bacon, <laughs> rinse the meat off. And it's weird because I don't even drink Park Forest water, but I'm still rinsing my food off in it. So, that, we got to find a better way. I used to have a filter on my sink, but, um, yeah, the sink is, is stripped, so we don't have a filter anymore. We got to get a new sink in order to get a filter. Get, get that filter back on. We're going to have to get a new, whole new sink. Okay, so that's all we're going to do is cut these up and put them in a bowl. But meanwhile, Ladybug, we can go over to the skillet. We got Ladybug on the, on the camera tonight, this evening. All right, I'm using some grapeseed oil. You all use whatever type of oil that you desire. Okay? Whatever oil you desire. We not tripping on the oil. If you still using vegetable oil, so be it, you know? We not get ready to go there, you know? Can't go there. Now, this is a recipe that if you need to get more onions in your life, this is the recipe for you. Smother cabbage. So I'm starting with my onions. Want to get my nice, my onions nice and caramelized. Turn that heat up. We on a nice medium high heat. I just had a bag for this. You just sit over there until I find the vibe for you. So how y'all feeling tonight? What y'all eating tonight? What y'all cooking for the family? Share some recipes with me. Comment below. If y'all like smothered cabbage, if you never had smothered cabbage, comment that below. Let me know. Where are you from? Where? What state are you from? Where they don't cook smothered cabbage? Do they have a, uh, what about the smothered pork chops? I know y'all know about the smothered pork, smoth, smothered, uh, pork chops. You can smother anything. And um, it's not a great, there's not gonna be like a gravy or anything. Yeah, it's not gonna be like a gravy or anything. My hands ran got so creepy now I can't get that open. Today, can you come here, please? Yeah. While you're in there, just sitting in there, can you make sure we have everything that we need for dinner? 
Okay, so we're gonna get these onions all nice and caramelized. Mm, I don't like the way that looks. That's kind of yellow, greenish looking. Get out of there. Get out of there. Alright, so let that keep going. Naturally, why you're beautiful people. It's been a minute since we did a cooking video. Yes, it has. Okay, I keep it over there for one second on them onions. Keep it on them onions for a sec. And put them on y'all. Put them on y'all. We're gonna add some minced garlic. Of course, I could have just, I got garlic in there. I could have just cut up garlic and added it. It would have been a little bit, a little bit of sand. But I'm being lazy right now, so. I'm going to use my minced garlic, that's why I bad, so that I can have it for quick stuff. Now, for some people, they might not like that much garlic, so put as much as you want. We're not measuring ingredients because it's to your desire. I want to call this a love meal. <laughs> if you love food, and you love your family, make them a little love meal now i'm putting this lid on here just so they can get done just a little bit faster this is for for ourselves it looks like extra frosty mm. And a little bit caramelized. All right. I'm gonna cut up this sausage. Keep cutting up these sausages. Oh gosh. Alright, my bad. My bad, y'all. I'm trying to do. Okay, nothing's working. I should have opened them all pre video. Oh my. Okay, <laughs> alright, I got it open. Okay, so that's all we're going to put in here is these four sausages. Come on, come on. All right, all right. If y'all could smell these onions and these peppers right now. I mean, this onion is garlic. Okay, so now we got our shallots. Shallots. We're going to add our shallots to that. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Come on in. Right. Don't be scared of the heat. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. All right, so we got our shallots going with our onions and our garlic. We're going to let that go for uh, like 
two minutes, whatever, however long it takes us to cut these sausages. And then after that, we're going to be adding some more stuff to the ingredients. I mean, more stuff to the ingredients. Some more, more stuff to our pan. Okay. Got peppers and stuff in it. No, I'll probably just left over from something I cut. Oh, well, you had cut the green peppers on this cutting board too, then. No, it's the other. Oh, it wasn't this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not too new. Maybe it's cabbage. Alright, so now we're done with all our cooking. That's just look really shit. If you still eat meat, that probably still look good. But if you don't eat meat, it probably don't look so good to you. So let me wash my knife off real quick. Y'all know these knives be rusting out. These little cheap knives. Gotta invest in some fine cutlery. Cutco. Y'all ever heard of Cutco? Cutco products? Cutco is some fine coloring. That's the kind of stuff you invest in and you pass down to your children. Okay, stay right here over this cabbage. We're going back to the pot for a second. The pan. Okay, so now that we got that, we're going to add our peppers. I'm gonna go for her, baby. Okay, this lid is getting hot. You in there? Mm -hmm. Okay. That lid is hot. No. What's that, baby? Mm. Okay, sorry about that. There we go. Would it just be easy to just hold the phone? Without the stick? Yeah. Okay, you can do that if you want. Just take the stick off. Okay, so now we got our peppers in there. Our onions is done done. And our peppers in there. We don't want the peppers to be... We want them to be kind of tender. But I like a little crunch. You know what I mean? And we're gonna cook this more. We're gonna cook this more. But for now, stay over there. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna be cooking this more. But for now, we're gonna take it out. So our peppers did get tender completely, but that's how we want it. Because we're going to be cooking them. We're putting it back in with the cabbage. But for now, we got to do our meat. So we're going to take all of this out the skillet. That smell good. I don't know if y'all eat onions and peppers. <laughs> Just eat a bowl of peppers and onions. Call it a dinner. Stick on your dinner right there. Dinner is served. No. Okay, you can stay over this skillet. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is add our turkey bacon. Now this is turkey bacon, so it's not gonna um, have its own fat to build up and, you know, we're not going to have our lap. So we are going to add more grapeseed oil. Oh, let me show y'all the oil that I'm using. This is the grapeseed oil that I'm using. Got this from Walmart. Uh -oh. Okay, so we're going to 
this pop in. <laughs> okay, we're going to let this turkey bacon cook on in. Actually, we're going to move that over to the slow cooking side. This side of the skillet always cooks faster. So move that over to the slow cooking side. And while moving that over, we're going to be adding our sausage. Now I know a lot of people is like, you know, that's too much meat. But you don't need all that meat. Well, you might not need all that meat. Well, we might not need. We might not even need it either. <laughs> but we want it. We want the meat because this recipe done with pork, pork bacon, pork sausage. I mean, we just put our own little spin on it and make it a little bit healthier. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit healthier, you know. We're not, um, what's wrong? I'll take it. We're not, um, vegan. We're not even vegetarian. So, we just try to put a little healthier skin on it. Uh oh. Sorry, y'all. I'm holding y'all down. Okay, I had to give my camera girl a break on her arm. <laughs> Flip over. No more sausage don't want to fit. Okay, there we go. So we're going to let that cook out real good. Okay. This is really like a quick type of meal. If you have all the ingredients in your house, put it together. Um... I gotta grab my herbs and my seasons. Okay. I'm gonna need cayenne, garlic powder, onion powder. What's your hair for, baby? What's your name? Oh. Cayenne powder, garlic powder, some crushed red pepper. Um, I'm gonna use kosher salt. Me some tongs, someone, please. The big ones, if we have them. Okay. Yeah, she's trying to get the tongs. Alright. Alright, so now we're going to flip these over. Make sure they're done on both sides. All right, y'all forgive me because I'm looking through the camera trying to do this. Let me just hold the camera. Because <laughs> I can't look through the camera and try to flip. I don't know how they do it. These YouTubers do these videos. But I think they have a whole professional team. Some people, you know, they think they're fooling people. But a lot of these the YouTubers have professional people on their team and that's why their videos come out so flawless but we don't have no team well we don't have a professional team we got a team we got a circle everybody got a circle you should have a circle so let's flip these over get them even on both sides uh -oh. Hey, little guy. Yeah, they smell delicious. Yeah, they smell so good. You can smell them. Hmm. If you can't take the heat, get out the kitchen. Alright. It's time for these to come out. We don't want no burnt. We don't want them burnt. 
Okay, it's time for this to come out. Let me turn this skewer down a little bit high. Okay. All right, we got the majority of them flipped over. Last few. And then we're going to keep this grease that's in the bottom of this. We're going to keep that. Ladybug, I need another one of these glass bowls. Take all three of those and put them in the sink. that down so now we're going to be taking can you hold those for my mama okay now we're going to be taking our meat out and whatever oil that's left in here we're going to use that so this is a one skillet meal. I mean, you can't put everything in at once. I guess you could do it that way too. I don't know. I wouldn't do it that way. I would just separate it. So you make sure everything is through and through. Because so if you throw these sausages on top of the cabbage, you know you're going to have some uneven sausages. It's not going to really be even. I'm going to try to get the majority of that out of there. See, now, if we was using pork bacon, pork sausage, this pan would be full of grease fat from the from the meat. But it's not. All we got left is what? Well, we started with grapeseed oil. Here, baby, I got one more piece. Okay. Now, I'm going to have ladybug bring us our cabbage over so this cabbage has already been rinsed off our heat is our uh, skillet is still going nice and heated tilt the, tilt, tilt the bowl over like this we're just gonna put this right out of our colander into our skillet now, I know it looks like it's a lot. It's going to be a lot. But this kind of is shrink down like um, spinach. No, it shrink down now. It don't shrink down that much. Not like quite like spinach. But it does shrink down a nice bit. All right, Mama. Can I get you back on the um, camera? Mm -hmm. That. Put the salt down inside. I'm going to put the seasoning. So I'm going to have baby girl hold the camera. And I'm going to add our seasoning to this. So, okay. okay. So, first thing we're going to add is our salt. Use whatever salt did you normally use. And I'm, I'm, we don't have any uh, body that's diabetic or anything like that. So I, I use enough to taste, to taste it. So now we're doing garlic powder, onion powder. Cayenne. Do two dashes of that. And just a little bit of these crushed peppers. Tad it. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. I feel like a Yeah, I said I'm gonna add my add a little bit at the end, but I don't know. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Alright, oh well. It'll come to me. Let me add a little bit more oil. Okay, so we want to cook this down.
Oh. I know what I need. I know what I need. Now I know. Well, now I remember. A little bit of water and I'm going to need something out of this buffet. Oh, I know why that elf I need too. Um, I'm gonna have you get that for me though. Okay, so this is something else I also need. Little broth base, chicken flavor broth base. You don't have to use it. This is um optional. Optional. So that's you. If you want to use it, use it. If you don't, it's fine. Still going to be good. Trust me. It's still going to be nice and flavorful. Okay. Mama Sita, can you find me the Worcestershire sauce out of the buffet? It should be on the left side toward the back. So while she's looking for the Worcestershire sauce, I'm going to try to stir this in a little bit. Look at this big old chunk. I should have sliced that more. Didn't do a good job, Karaya. We're slicing. But it's gonna get a. You know that. It's gonna get a. That's all I need is a little bit. And that's all I need is just to see a bit. You know what? Grab me a little turmeric. I'm gonna put a little turmeric on this too. Okay, you can just sit that down. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't want to just pour the wash just the salt in there because I want to know exactly how much I'm putting in. So what I'm going to do is pour it into this cup. Okay, so I poured it into this cup. This is the wash just the sauce. Use as much as you want. I don't need that much. You know, we don't need that much. We just need a nice little amount for flavoring. Okay, go and hook that turmeric up. You can just do a nice even amount. Just take it back. Okay. Teach your babies how to use these seasons and herbs. Get their food flavored up right. Okay. Alright, that's good. Mama Sita. Lady Buggy. So we're gonna stir that in. Can you turn my heat back up to high? Yeah, I didn't do a good job. That big old chunk, I should have cut that too. But it'll be alright. So what's it? Softens up. Tender, get more tender. Yeah, I should have cut those big old pieces, but what's done is born. So now we're going my cabbage flavored season the way I want it. If you can think of anything else that you can, uh, you want to add to to this, do that. Like a bunch of seasoning in that one piece. Okay, so we got our heat going high. I don't know if y'all could tell, it's already softening up. So we got the heat going high. Keep that going. 
And we're going to add this lid. Let that cook for about, you want to do the camera again? Let that cook for about five, five minutes. Then we're going to add our other stuff, peppers, onions, salads, garlic, and then we're going to add our meat. Sausages, turkey, bacon. Alright, so five minutes. We'll add that up. And then the meal will be complete. Alright. So chat with me. What's up? What's up? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? How y'all living? Today was a bit rainy, but it was still such a beautiful day. This light in my face is crazy, really. I don't know how you camera people, I mean not camera people, but you YouTubers do it with the camera in your face and the light in your face. And, um, this is just a phone, so a real camera, I'm not sure how that would work. I don't know. I'm trying to get there, though. I'm trying to get there. Get used to it. Just used to being on camera. Used to the light in your face used to posting consistently because y'all know i'm not consistent at all um we post so sporadically because we just go off the flow we go off of you know what we feel in our heart if we feel it or we have the time and everything is aligned and i can you know do a video without interruptions I'm still going to probably have some interruptions. But, you know, if I can do it without distractions, I'll hook up the video for y'all, you know. And today I was just feeling like doing videos. I don't know. Just feeling in the mood today. Uh, we're going to be coming back with some more videos um, like we used to do when we was out doing DoorDash downtown. Talking about the city and different things that's going on in the city. Because when you're out there, you can kind of see what's going on. Um, versus being all the way out here. You know, you can't really tell what's going on in the city. What's going on with your people. Alright, so back to the meal. Back to the meal. And this is not a cast iron skillet. But... If you all, um, what is this this skillet called? I kept the paper on this skillet. I don't even remember exactly what it's called. So now that we got all of that, look at that cat. You see how tender it is? It's nice and tender. All right. Now we're going to add onions. You can stay over here. We're gonna add our onions and our peppers. Add our onions and peppers. Onions and peppers. Put that right on top. And then we're gonna put our meat right on top. Right on top. Alright. Just like, uh oh, that's hot. That's hot, Karaya. Don't touch it. <laughs> Alright. So, we're going to put that on top and just leave it. Just leave it. Close it. About another five minutes. And then, that's when we're going to stir it all together. And our meal will be complete. So, make sure you comment below. And let me know. Have you ever tried smother cabbage? Have you ever heard of smothered cabbage have you ever tried smothered anything you know and if you are willing to try this recipe what would you do different what would you would you use turkey bacon would you not use bacon at all would you just do the sausage one meat is enough you know you can alter this recipe yourself and um like i said with the the broth the chicken based brown broth if you're a vegan you're not going to use that you're going to use probably some nutritional yeast or something else to supplement that protein. Uh, well, not that protein because it's not the protein that you replace. If you was replacing the meat, so yeah, you would use like nutritional yeast or something to replace the meat. 
But as far as the flavor for the chicken, I don't know whatever you would use, some kind of vegan flavoring. I don't know. So um, I'm not vegan. So we still learning. We're willing to learn. That's why I said if you guys, you, I, we watch vegan recipes. But if you guys have some, you know, vegan recipes that you want to share, please feel free to share them. Because we're trying to get that. You know, get that, um, get that, uh, lifestyle, that vegan lifestyle. We're trying to get to that point, but with what we have, with the options that we have, we don't really know how to get to that point, you know. All we know is, you know, Mexican food, Asian food, and, you know, our, uh, signature dishes, I'll say, you know, the things that we like. So we don't have anything, you know, I don't, I don't. So just comment below and let us know some vegan recipes that will work. That's healthy and tasty. I don't, I don't like the, the whole vegan tradition of replacing every single thing with something soy. I don't want soy. I don't want all that soy, especially for my boys. I don't want all that soy. So please, let's work together. Bill, be royal, love royal, live royal. Back to the bill. <laughs> okay. All right. So, as y'all can see, everything is together. Now we just gonna stir it in. Make it complete. And like I said, those peppers, it's going to be tender, but they're going to still have a little crunch to them. And that's what you want because you don't want to cook all of the nutrients out of your peppers. Peppers are good for antioxidants, um, building up your immune system, you know, your vitamin C. You definitely need that. So, you know, peppers are good and we don't want to cook them to, you know. So they, so they gone. Let's see if baby girl can get in there a little bit. She's scared of the heat, y'all. You feel it? But it's not burning you, right? It's just hot. Sometimes heat could just be hot and that won't burn you. It'll just be hot on your hand. But you gotta get used to it. If you get used to it, then you'll be able to... Um, that's the same way with your body. You can regulate your body temperature. When you stay out in the cold... You'll get used to it. Eventually, you'll get used to it. If you always run to put a jacket on, you know, your body can't never regulate. All right, so that is our complete meal. We're going to turn that off. And that is complete. Now, what I'm going to do is just put this lid back on here and just let that simmer out. But that's done. So, get in there. We're going to take a couple pictures for the gram and uh, all our Facebook friends. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, we'll have some pictures there. Thanks for checking this video out. Peace, love, and compassion. Naturally royal, beautiful people. Be royal. Uh -oh. I always put my finger over the camera. Be royal, love royal, live royal. Eat royal. And all that good stuff. Yeah, we know processed meats are not good. But we just um, trying a little bit of a healthier meat. <laughs> I mean, uh, the, the turkey bacon is just a little bit better than the pork bacon. I mean, meat, period, we know there's so many hormones in meat, so... It is what it is. Y'all know. Y'all did y'all research. So, we all on the same page. And that's it. Enjoy with your family. Love y'all. Peace.